Disclaimer. This video has no cinematics, so if you're looking for cool camera shit, get out. I want to tell you one thing. This base design, it's good. And you, you should build it. I show you how. Listen up, this base requires no BPs, and this base has 20 rockets to raid with no armor doors required. Can you believe it? This base you can start small and dream big. It has so much storage that it can even fit your mom. This base is like your dog. It grows up with you, becomes your best friend. But your dog got hit by a car, and you got offline by a Zerg last week. Wait, so it doesn't even matter anyway. Why, why, why not just make it do by- Shut the fuck up! This base has revolutionary efficiency with professionally designed loot rooms. You'll never get door camped again. You'll never miss another heli again. You'll never get offline again. You'll never have to build any other base again. This base is called the h June base. First, you need to find a relatively flat area. Look for the lowest part and start your foundations there. Your base will start with three triangle foundations. Make sure your foundations are as low as possible. Check to see if you can add the circle of foundations right next to it. This will be your main loot room. Now, you need to secure yourself a place to depot your loot for early game. Start putting walls around and upgrade to stone if you have it. Remember to leave this wall wooden as you will break it later to connect it to your main loot room. The first door needs to be a double door, and you can add a single door for the inner airlock. After you put the doors, it's time to place the cupboard. Put the cupboard and put the large box on the line below. Put a low wall and place another large box on top of it. Remember, you can always look on the right side of the screen to see what kind of resources you need for any stage of the base. Before you make your main loot room area, we need to put placeholder foundations. Put a foundation stair here leading up, put square foundations down, destroy this one, and place a triangle foundation. Upgrade the placeholder foundations to stone. Those are needed to make expanding the base easier later. Now you can make the main loot room. Before you destroy the wooden wall though, make the loot room first out of stone and then fully enclose it from the outside. Go inside and now you can remove the wall in piece. Try to follow where I put the boxes and furnaces. It doesn't really matter the order you place them, but the boxes need to be on the lines and small furnaces in the middle of the triangle foundations. Add low walls and stack the large boxes on top of each other. You can also move the boxes from the cupboard, remove the low wall there and add a wall frame. The workbench goes on the left side of the boxes. Make sure it sticks to the wall. You can also add another furnace if needed and also put more bags for your friends. Once you get more stone, you want to expand the foundation layout. Fill out the triangles and temporarily place these blocks to help outline the base. Once you have the triangles, it's time to add the squares in between them. If you forgot to add a placeholder square in the beginning, it's not a problem. Just follow the simple step to put the square in the right spot. The base layout should be looking something like this now. Here's how to put the squares in, shown in Fortify to make it more clear. Now. We need to cover up the 2x3 box up with walls and floors. You need to put the wall frame here. It has to be a double door or else you won't fit. Since you need a BP to make sheet metal double doors, you should first start by adding the two doors here for an extra airlock. Once you form up a little bit more, we should first start by making the ceiling 16 rockets to loot. This is important. You need to place walls here first and then the roofs or else you can't place the wall. Finish the roofs and add the walls. It should look something like this. Add the floors to finish. 
Now, we need to add triangle floors to each of the walls around. This is very important as we need it to protect our loot room from above. Once that's done, we need to finish the rest of the foundation layout. It should look something like this. Now, before you add more honeycomb, you need to add the square floors up here first. If you put the walls first, you won't be able to put the floors afterwards. Now, you want to close off the area where you will be placing more doors. Put walls and doorways exactly where I put them. Also, you can make the square floor above the doorway wooden beforehand, as this will be your way up. Now, you want to add doorways all the way across the hallway you just made. If you have the metal, you should start placing doors, but you can choose to only put a few select doors up as it will allow faster access in and out, since you don't have to open and close them every time. After this, it's very simple. You just need to fill in all the walls that need to be placed until it looks like a 4x4 square. This base at this current time is 16 rockets from every angle to raid, even through doors. If you are a streamer or have ambitious neighbors, you might want to rush the front area before the honeycomb. Put metal shop fronts here to prevent a water pipe to the face. Put another single door here and a double door on the other side. If you are lucky and find a turret, you can place those here. Now on the place I said will be your way up, you can place a ladder or furnaces with triangle floors to get up. This is what makes the base very strong. The doors leading up to the roof can be stacked all the way up to four sheet metal doors. So if the braider comes from the roof, they'll have to blow four sheet metal doors just to get to the bottom. However, just a reminder that if you have stacked doors like this, you need to place the ceiling first and not the walls or else you can't place the ceiling. At this point, you might be running out of space. Here is how to place the research table and repair bench so you can access it quick from the loot room below. You can spam boxes up above the main loot room however you wish. These boxes up here should have less valuable loot as it is less secure. You should have most of your good loot in the vault below. When you need to upgrade, replace the tier 1 workbench with a tier 2. While not required, if you get lucky and get a dropbox BP, you can spam them here to get even more storage space. Here's where you get to decide what you want to build first. If you're playing on a very competitive server, you should build bedrooms first in case of an online raid. If you just want to snowball and get heli as soon as possible, Build the heli fighting area first. What I like to do is alternate between wall and window and put a door on each side of the base. Horizontal metal embrasures are the best for heli. However, since it requires a BP, use a metal window bar and wooden shutters for now. Loot rooms on the top is completely up to your imagination. Each loot room will have 3 or 4 doors leading to it, and you can either make it bedrooms, highly reinforced loot rooms with a roof on it, or a simple extra loot room with shelves. Remember that you need to put the ceiling first. I suggest having either the tier 2 or 3 on the bottom and the ladder on top so you have two workbenches. 
When you get raided, you want to be able to craft close to your bed. You can have another way up in any of the square floors and add the four door airlock. If you happen to get garage doors, you can replace a lot of the doors with it. It's great because you leave them open when online and close them when you log out. This was Trousy's idea, but you can spam the garage doors up here for added protection. Finish the rest of the foundations and you can add one more layer of stone honeycomb to truly make this a 20 rocket base. It's 20 rockets from the side, through the doors, and through the top. You can keep building onto this base to make it 24, 28, 32 rockets, but at this point, it would be a waste of resources. If you end up getting more stone, I suggest making another identical base close by. For when you get large furnaces and floor grill blueprints, you can either add them in the front or the side depending on your choice. And that's it. The server is dead.